Stefan! Stefan! Are you alright, Bulgain? I can't sleep. Oh, you can't sleep. What would you like a bedtime story? Oh, I'd love if you told me a story. Long ago, before we forgot, just on the coast of Sligo, the fishermen of Lenadil were setting out to bring in the herring. Now it was a clear, bright day, the sea was calm, the fish were plentiful, and every time the fishermen cast out their nets, they'd haul them in, bulging and wriggling with fish. After the third or fourth time casting out their nets, they pulled them in and found something unusual among the fish because sitting amongst those scaly, wriggly bodies was a baby. What looked like a human baby, alive and well. And so they pulled the child out of the net and sat it down in the boat. The baby it didn't cry or squirm or scream. It just watched them and looked at them with its jet black eyes. The fishermen, they talked it over. They'd had a very good catch already. And they decided, well, we need to find this baby's family. So they set off back for the shore. But the moment they turned their prows to face the shore of Sligo, the weather began to turn. The sky darkened, wind began to howl, the waves began to toss, and lightning forked the sky. And no matter how hard the fishermen rowed, they kept drifting further and further out to sea. They took a moment to discuss the situation. And they decided that maybe, maybe it was the baby. Maybe its family wasn't back on the shore, back in Sligo. Maybe the baby's family was somewhere in the sea and was holding them back, stopping them from taking their child away. Or maybe it was the baby itself causing this storm to prevent them from taking it away from its home. And so they agreed the thing to do was to return the baby to the sea. They picked it up and they held it over the edge of the boat. And the moment its feet touched the water, the sky became clear again. The wind died down, the waves ceased, and the fishermen were finally able to return home safely. All because they had surrendered the storm baby back to where they had found it. I didn't like that story very much. Oh, I'm sorry. Why didn't you like that story? I'm afraid of babies. Why are you afraid of babies? Okay, well, should I tell you another story? Another story would be lovely, but make sure there's no babies in this one. Long ago, before we forgot, there was an old woman 
living with her young daughter in a small cottage by the shore of County Sligo. Now to the right of them, they had an old sailor living next door, and to the left, there was a handsome young fisherman. Now the old woman, she had always expected that this handsome young fisherman would one day marry her daughter. And she had banked a lot of her future and her daughter's future on this idea. And so, when the young fisherman went and married a young woman from the next town, the old woman wasn't happy about that at all. Now this old woman, she was very well versed in magic and the secrets of the fairies. And she knew exactly how to take her revenge. But one day, a young man had gone out into the sea on his little boat to do some fishing. And her seeing this, she took a tub in her kitchen. She filled it with water. And she began speaking secret words and phrases over it. And as she did, the water in the tub began to toss and turn, boil and bubble. And then outside, thunder could be heard. The sea began to toss and turn to boil and bubble just like the water in the tub. And hearing that thunder, the old woman, she went outside to stand upon the edge of the cliff and watch her handiwork to see her revenge on that young man take shape and watch him drown. But the old sailor, he knew how to read the weather very well. And he knew that this storm, it couldn't be natural, it came out of nowhere. He'd also seen things like this happen before. He was very experienced, he had seen People, workers of magic, take revenge in this kind of fashion. And so, having an idea of what he might find, he went and snuck into the old woman's house. And in the kitchen he found what he knew he would. The tub of rolling, boiling, bubbling water. And he knew what to do. He placed his two fingers in the water made the sign of the cross, said a few prayers over it, and then tipped it over. And the sky became clear, and the sea had died down, and the young fisherman, he was able to return home safe. But when he did, the old sailor took him aside and told him, You'll need to change jobs now. You're not to go out to sea again until that hour biddy dies, right? And so he became a farmer, and he managed to live long and happily with his wife. And the old woman, well, she nursed her bitterness until the day that she died. Oh, I loved that story. That was very nice. That mean old woman. How can she force people into romantic relationships? That's not fair. It's also very heteronormative of her. D d d didn't like her one bit. Well, I'm very glad you liked that. Could... Do, do, do you think you could tell me stories every night? I, I, I'd really like that. I think I could tell you a story every night if you're very good, Bulldean. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'll go to sleep now. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb
I'm in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. This is the sun.